quick. Hey. How are you feeling? Uh, I think hungover. Yeah. We went from deciding to have no beers and going home to having two beers put in our hands and the biggest shot of vodka. <laughs> I've seen it in a long time. A glass of vodka. A glass of vodka. Which uh, to, to cyclists who've just ridden 600 kilometers. Yeah, it was quite uh, <laughs> effective. <laughs> Yeah. So, but uh, we we did get some really nice uh, wheelchair time with Justin, uh, where we towed him along the street and went and had a pizza reach, which I don't think we really wanted to do. Yeah. And then had some vegan ice cream. Yeah. It's good, man. I'm vegan. I have a feeling the wheelchair thing was illegal, but Justin assured me that it's just wheelchair stuff. It's just well I can't see where you're coming from But I know just what you're running from And what matters ain't the rules that is but the ones who stop Justin's five star hotel Yeah, we're not in cycling kit We're not cycling today Weird, well we are Yeah we have just cycled Good morning Welcome to the aftermath of Rad Race Tour de Friends We're all a bit sad We're all a little bit hungover but it's sunny and we're at a five star hotel. Cheeky little spa, uh, maybe a bit of lunch for before the flight home. To the Dolomites? Well, for you. We're going to the London Alps. Alps. <laughs> <laughs> There's no hills. No more hills, just smog, bad drivers. Rad race, sad face. Can't be positive, mate. But we still got our bikes, we still got our bodies. Can I go and see my beautiful girlfriend? Ha, yeah, that too. Hey. 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 Good morning. Morning. Welcome to today's video. <laughs> Welcome to today's. Welcome to today's video. We're in a lift. We're in a lift. We're in a lift. Lift, 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 lift
Hey. What do we feel like? Relaxing? Herbal tea to feel young? Revitalizing I wanna, herbal tea. I blend. wanna feel young. No, I think you should do the slimming, mate. What about the common herbal tea blend? Mm. Justin said he wanted slimming. I do want slimming. So you're gonna win this next year? Exactly, I need it for the climbs. So, we've been meaning to talk about Rob's bike for the last few days. We've managed to not do it at all. This is a pretty cool machine, and it'll explain why. You make bikes, man. I make bikes. I'm a frame builder in London. Uh, mainly steel, sometimes work with carbon. All handmade, all hand cut tubes. Uh, Columbus tubing is the main material I use. Well, I mean, steel these days is a lot more interesting than it used to be because of the alloys have got a lot stronger. You can see amazing, uh, people often mistake this for carbon, amazing down tube, uh, Columbus HSS. This bike is like a really, really special bike to me particularly um, because on it I got to try out a lot of ideas I had for geometry um, and features such as you know, oversized bottom brackets, uh, through axles, uh, front and rear, um, and disc brakes. Um, on a road bike, you're know, designed to go further than your average road bike. I made this specially for the Transcontinental Race in 2016, which I took part in and finished. That's a race from Belgium to Turkey. But recently had it repainted just before this trip, um, which this time, well, you can see really nice blue from House of Color, custom paint makers in the US. Um, and I painted this down at Cole Coatings. Uh, I painted it under their supervision. The process of getting a custom bike can be anywhere between you know, three months or longer. Uh, the average turnaround is about three months. Uh, but that process is like, from when I first get an email off a customer to when that, that customer has the bike in their hand. The actual process of building the frame from having a pile of tubes. Uh, how many tubes is it? Eight tubes? I should know that. You should probably know that. Um, to cutting it. Uh, brazing it together, sand, uh, filing the fillet so they're nice and smooth, mm. like this. Uh, it's about five, five days. And then they will go off to the painters, and that will be about three weeks to four weeks. The majority of Painting the time. Painting takes ages. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got to let it cure, because you, know, you, you could like, uh, the actual paint takes a day, uh, primer takes another day, but then you've got to let it cure for two weeks. Otherwise, you know, you start putting parts on and it cracks and bends it, and it right, bubbles yeah. up and stuff. Um, I mean, this has been awesome. This like ultimate bike for me. Uh, I've got bigger clearances, so, uh, and a gravel fork. I mean, uh, the sort of road riding I do tends to be really long distances on mixed terrain, like, on this ride we did loads, we of, gravel. loads of gravel probably about what 20 percent of the route was gravel uh and more and more people doing that so but if it gets really muddy i can stick 32s in here could even do cross on it if mm. i wanted to but i do have a cross bike as well i do get to build myself bike so <laughs> yeah if you want any more information about me or my bikes or what i do i'm based in london uh, my website is quirkcycles.com uh, you find my phone number and email, uh, drop me a line, ask me a question, ask in the comments below anything you need to know uh, and I'll do my best to answer them. And yeah, get some steel. Super light, super cool. Best ride of your life. Best peach. Best it's, a, life. it's an incredible peach. Have a bite, Francis. It's really good. Peachy. Oh, yeah, also, very good. It's really good. I also bought you some fruit. It's vegan. Oh, wow. What, vegan fruit? <laughs> Why is steel your chosen material? Um, there's a few reasons why I would pick steel. Uh, and one of the main reasons is its ride quality. Um, there's a liveliness to steel that you don't really get in other materials. Uh, aluminium, because it's uh, less stiff material, has to be overbuilt, which makes 
a stiffer ride because uh, of the oversized tubes. Uh, titanium is like really nice and smooth, but it, I don't know, personally, I feel like it's a bit like an old man's uh, quality. It's like, yeah, you want, to, you want a really nice smooth ride. But uh, when it comes to performance and liveliness and something that like talks to you and kicks back and like, you know, it pushes you, it wants you to ride it harder. Steel has uh, amazing feedback, what I call positive feedback. Your know, negative feedback would be like feeling road buzz or every bump in the road. Steel has uh, feeling. Has feeling. Uh, steel is real. It has the quality of removing the negative feedback, the stuff you don't want to hear about, um, but then telling you the things that you do want to hear. So things like how how planted are you on the road? What's the road doing underneath your tires? You know, how tight can you hit that corner? And this is what we all want to know. You got? What's he got? Mr. Cade. Oh my God. Mr. Quirk. Mr. <laughs> Blandy. <laughs> little gift to us to celebrate our achievements. This is going to undo all the good work of the spa. Right, I just spent, what, an hour in a sauna room. It's like to get rid of my hangover now. Francis. Thank you for joining me. That's wicked. Love you, bro. Love you too. Safe journey home, man. Rob. Ah, ah, yeah, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, bro. Thank you. It's been yeah. epic. To the next adventure. 600 k's. Oh yeah. We're in Venice. Killed it. Sort of. Shut up. <laughs> Almost made it. Almost, Almost made it. Almost. Le less history. To the, <laughs> <laughs> <Just so low. laughs> to the next adventure. Yeah, man.